All right, welcome back to Flat Range Tuning. I'm here in the shop and I wanted to take a look at the 3MI AOS drain hose. Uh, we've, we've mentioned this in a few of our videos. It's been up on our website uh, for a while. Um, it's helped a lot of people uh, get, get their AOSs to work better, but kind of because of the way that it comes in the packaging um, and, and the fact that the, the, we don't have a, a guide and there is no guide, step-by-step uh, -step guide to install this yet, we've gotten a lot of questions kind of wanting more information about what this, what this is, what it does, how it fits on your car, and, and why it actually improves the function of most AOSs out there. So we're going to dive into it. I uh, just want to say right here at the beginning uh, that if you like this content, if you like this channel and, and the things we're doing with it, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. That helps us out a ton. And the very best way to support this channel, help make sure that we can keep coming back and making this content for you, is to visit us over at flatirons.com. Your support there goes a long way to uh, facilitating us having the time and ability to come back and make this content for you. So your support over there is greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump into it. And we're going to start by looking at how a stock AOS oil return is typically plumbed. Okay, so I've got the IEG AOS here mocked up. Uh, on this block here with the drain and, and the vent for the drain kind of hooked up as, as the majority of AOS's on the market are connected. What this does is it uses the top of the factory AOS, which is a three quarter inch fitting that sits kind of right underneath the turbo uh, compressor outlet there. And that is both the drain and a vent for the AOS. Now the stock plumbing here, this fitting comes up, it goes over to your PCB valve, which connects to the intake manifold, and then over to the turbo inlet to use the vacuum to scavenge the, the crankcase gases uh, from the top of the AOS. Most aftermarket AOSs, what they do is they, they Y this um, and they move the drain to part of this and then they, they come off the top and vent to vent the uh, crankcase pressure to the AOS so it can be filtered. Now this works well when it's plumb, plumbed properly. The challenge here or the issue is this drain hose. So the drain hose, for this to work correctly, you need to have a steady downward slope to the block where it's draining. And that's where things get challenging, especially if you have a top-mounted intercooler. Um, the height that you can mount the AOS can is limited by your hood, because the hood has to shut. So the AOS can only be so high, and the lower you make that the AOS can, the, the more and more challenging it is to have a downward slope for the drain to go back into the, to the block to, to return that oil to the sump. Why is this a problem? Well, for one, if you have any kind of an uphill uh, slope to this, this drain hose, it's just a gravity drain, so the oil is not going to drain, and then that can cause it to pull up um, and, and not drain from the can, uh, the AOS, and then you basically have a catch can, not an AOS. Um, the other thing is, if you have a lot of oil that's, that is draining down this way because it is also draining to one of the vent locations, that can also prevent crankcase gases from escaping and, and being filtered through the AOS. So those two things make this a, a challenge. Um, the other thing, especially if you have a top-mounted intercooler, is it really is hard to route this drain around, back and around and underneath everything so that it's not going to get pinched by any like the intercooler piping and whatnot as you're trying to return that oil to the block. If this hose gets pinched off or anything like that, that's going to prevent the oil from draining and again cause all those problems that we talked about. So when plumbed properly, this works well, um, but if you have those challenges where based on the location of the can, the height of the can, or where you have to run this, this drain plumbing, all the way over and underneath things to get back to the block, that's where it can cause issues and that's where you're, you're not getting the full functionality, functionality out of your AOS. And that's where the 3MI AOS drain hose co comes in. So this is your factory oil return hose for your turbo. It connects to the bottom of your turbo, right down here. And then this drains back to your passenger side cylinder head. And this connects to the cylinder head about halfway down on the cylinder head. This is where the 3MI AOS drain hose taps into. The advantages of tapping into this location are that it's much lower on the engine block compared to the top of the block. And especially if you have an AOS that's mounted on the passenger side of your engine bay, it's much easier to get a direct shot uh, drain from your AOS down to this turbo inlet hose compared to coming all the way back around and going to the top of the block. So this is where this is what the 3MI AOS uh, drain hose replaces and then uses this drain path as opposed to the top of the factory AOS. And that's where, I, where it improves the function. So what does all of this look like when you finally get it installed in the car? It's gonna look a little something like this. Um, basically what you will have done by after you've installed the 3MI AOS drain hose is you're gonna have separated the vacuum vent 
from the top of the block and the oil return because your oil return is now draining to the uh, turbo oil return uh, location instead of the top of the block. Now, there's a few things to consider here. Um, the biggest one being the routing of this oil return hose. It can go on either side of the uppipe, basically the transmission side or, or the strut side. But whatever you're doing, you've got to look at the routing of this drain hose and make sure that um, it, it is, you're going to put some heat shielding on it to protect it from the, the heat of the uppipe. And especially if you're going to route it here on the transmission side, the, the turbo is held in place by two brackets, and that inside bracket, you're going to likely need to trim that to give yourself enough room to run this drain hose out. Um, I'll put up a picture of, you know, kind of the template that we use to trim that bracket. Um, but again, you're going to want to cut it, make sure that there aren't any sharp edges, so that, you know, the, the drain hose isn't going to be cut by that. Kind of put it in place, you might have to trim it again. Make sure you've got proper clearance, and again, heat shielding. Um, other than the routing of this uh, to wherever your AOS is, whichever, you know, the transmission side or the, the suspension side. Whoa, there we go, like that. You've got to consider uh, protecting this, this drain hose from heat. So 3MI gives you some reflective heat shielding to go over the drain hose here to make sure it's protected from the exhaust from the up pipe. But that's the other thing you've got to make sure. You've got to make sure the brackets from the turbo, uh, turbo support brackets aren't interfering with the drain hose and you've got proper heat protection. Um, the DEI hose can work well, uh, I'm sorry, the, the 3MI hose can work well. Uh, in some cases we've used DEI uh, heat sleeve over this, which gives you a little added layer of protection, a little bit more insulation. So that in a nutshell is how the 3MI AOS drain hose attaches, why it helps improve the function of most uh, AOSs that are on the market for your Subaru, and um, gives you an idea of what is involved with the install. If you've got any more questions after watching this video, Best thing to do is uh, reach out to us through live chat on flatirontunion.com. That does go to a person. We'll always do our best to answer any questions that you might have. But you can always just pick up the phone, send us an email. Uh, no matter what, what method works best for you, we'll do our best to answer any questions that you have. Um, and just remember, you know, the 3MI AOS drain hose, IG AOS, most of the AOSs that are on the market, Roger Clark block breather adapter, all these things are available on flatirontunion.com. So thanks very much for watching the video. Um, thanks for your support as always. And until next time, stay tuned to the Flatirons Tuning.